Hi guys, this is Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone and in this video we will be talking about on how you can install latest Turk based jelly bean based 4.1.1 custom ROM firmware which is basically the aroma based firmware the best part of this is it's based on the latest uh, 4.1.1 jelly bean firmware that's nothing but the XXGLIB based firmware which comes with one of the most stable modems ever otherwise most of the people have reported that they are having some issues with the modem or something like that because Wi-Fi used to get unlatched due to some reasons and this issue is not there in this firmware if you talk of features then this comes with the ad stock uh, interface overall interface of the device remains the same as that of stock that means default firmware and apart from that it also comes with the Note 2 camera that means all the settings of the Galaxy Note 2 which is the recent launched by Samsung is match matching with this custom ROM from West camera tool apart from that this also comes with the default stock sound in the system that means all the ringtones will remain the same as out of the default firmware which you have received at the time of purchasing your phone and apart from that it also comes with the added applications and also the latest Polaris office that is 4.0 version and, uh, and also it he comes with a huge list of other features which you have mentioned in the article uh, which you too can uh, refer the same which the features like google voice search navigation voice search a new boot animation new contacts and some changes in the interface so etc etc there are a whole list of around 200 features which you can probably refer to the source link for full details about the same so first up you need to ensure that your device is rooted as usual <coughs> and up next you'll have to ensure that you have installed the clock mode monitoring update in your device then you can do that with the help of from manager application the same can be downloaded from the google play store so once you're done with this just connect your smartphone to the computer with the help of using a usb cable and then place the zip file of the turk bay rom 4.11 based jellybean x6dlib zip package in your device ensure that you are placing the same in the external SD card and not in the phone memory once you have done so just disconnect the phone and just turn off the device so we have already placed the zip file in the device in the external SD card now it's time for turning off the device so let's turn off the same press long press on the power button you have to press the option of power off and that's it so once the phone is phone gets vibrated there's a volume up key and then the menu button and after that there's a power button keep holding the power button so here it is the code mod recovery 6.0.1.2 so there are various options as you can see over here so before you proceed, first thing comes first, that is wipe data and factory reset. By selecting the corresponding options, you'll have to select the same. And then up next, you have to select wipe cache partition. Basically what it does is, it erases all your application and all the user data is represented in your phone. So, you may ask now, what if, if I'm not deleting all this? What if, if I'm not wiping all this? Fine, the only issue which you'll be facing is the constant post closures which I guess it's not recommended by us because when the new firmware is being flashed the application gets corrupted with the newer file system so since the new file system comes with the new custom ROM firmware it's always recommended to wipe the data factory reset and wipe cache partition so assuming that you have done both of these options up next you need to head over to the advanced option just tap on the same and then you need to set the option of wipe Dalby cache so once it's done, you'll be getting a prompt over here that will be cache wiped. And after that, for better battery backup and all, uh, just need to select the wipe battery stats. Though it's not confirmed whether you get better battery life after wiping those battery stats or not. But since some of the forums have already mentioned that, and also since the CWM has an option to do that, it's recommended to uh, set the option of wipe battery stats. So once it's done, 
All you need to do is install zip from SD card. From SD card needs to be selected, and then we will get many options. Wherein you have to select the option of choose zip from external SD card, and then there is a package which you have placed. That is SGS3, Talkway JB, XXDLID, V13 Job Zip. Just tap on the same, and then you have to select the option of yes. So as you can see that it's now getting a prompt like finding update package, opening update package and so it's now installing the ROM. So now it has given a prompt wherein you can select the theme like generic theme, MIUI theme, ICS theme, MIUI 4 theme or the sense theme or else etc. So will be as of now selecting the generic one here you have got other option that is system size 1512 mb <coughs> data size is uh, 11623 mb and as you got size is minus 1 mb it's done just need to read all these instructions mentioned on here this is just for fyi nothing more than that so these are the features which this version comes with. Now this is something new which we haven't come across with any of the customer of our So just select the screen. Install without pipe my data partition as well. Will not recommend that. Don't back up. No. Don't back up any of this partition. You can uh, choose all the options. Stock kernel. You can also choose on the stock kernel. Let's install this. Okay. You've got hell lot of options which are over here. Man, you need to be ensuring that you have set the correct option because there are hell lot of options over here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's okay. Just tap on next. Samsung LG, yes, experience album, no. Something else, no to LG, it's like yes. And then stock camera or no to camera HyperX. Let's try out the new no to camera HyperX. Stock font or small font. Let's go with the stock font. And then we've got, oh my god, a tall screen theme as well. Just select the option of plastic. Center clock, right clock. Okay, just tap on next and then next. You have got a whole lot of applications which you want. Stock one, just need to select what all you want. Polar is four. The music hub is suggest Google Plus videos, Google Drive, and then Twitter. I want it. And apart from that, yeah, widget, I don't want that. Something chat on, unlock locks, tool box, let's put that. Books, tablet, okay, I love reading books. Okay, so after that, after this, FW upgrade, help more, just select this one as well. Guys, guys, help, guys, Wi Fi. Fine, I think it's enough, enough for applications for this firmware. Just tap on next. So the wizard is ready and to begin the installation. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Just have an install now. So you can see that the firmware upgrade is in the process. This is a progress bar which you can just view it up. Which will give you a more broader idea on how this firmware is going about. It may take some wide amount of time because since we have selected many of the options and to replicate that it will bring you quite a while. 
So hold your breath, keep your patience, till the formula is upgraded. That's all I can say. Okay, as you can see that installing it over, touch the recovery, stock kernel, XLT and the modem, sub battery, move to gallery, blah blah blah. Okay, so as you can see, it's now 100 percent down. So let's just tap on next and then it will ask you for the rebooting the device now. Fine. Just tap on finish. Samsung so your 3 gd i 93 logo is being shown up. Oh, this is a new animation, good animation. Hey guys, it will take more than a minute or two, something like that. Or it may take even more than a minute or two as well. I'm not sure about that. But yes, don't interrupt the process, that's that's what I know. Till you see the home screen. Or any other settings wherein your interaction is required. As you can see that the menu key and the back key has just enabled, has just been enabled. wait for the device to ready, ready up all the firmware, zip files, applications etc because since it's a huge firmware of around 1 GB it will take quite a while to load up everything So round about after 3 minutes, so finally it's here, beware, the language is not English, so we'll have to select the same manually, if we keep on pressing yes 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 yes, then we'll land in trouble, so let's select English United Kingdom, let's tap on next, probably you can add the Wi-Fi network at a later stage. Samsung account, this two can be added as a real stage. Google, no, no, not now. Google location, yes, but not now. Just stop and finish. No, okay. So, guys, there's a one which you're waiting about. A great looking dynamic custom ROM for me. Which is a Turby ROM. So this is a dialer, which is pretty much showing the class. So call log, favorites, and then contacts. Don't show this again. These things are really irritating. Let's check on the applications which are there. So boys. There is an FM radio present over here and then pull out of the software 4.0, the latest one. Let's skip it. The best polar is one office, the latest 4.0. Apart from that, it also comes with S voice as suggest 
play movies, play books, etc. Just check what we have in the store in the settings font. Wi-Fi Bluetooth data usage. That's this pretty much same. NFC is being all check fast. That's okay. Home screen blocking mode. Previous options are same as that of the stock one. So here are the secret ones. To be extra mods. That is change country CSC. You can change the CSC, but it's not recommended. And then got Samsung secret codes. Where you got a bunch of commands. Where you can just check the state of everything. Let's check out the software update version. There's a 4.1.1. It's the DLIV base one version. The VJB custom mode. There's the one. Which means that successfully the firmware has been updated. Project done. The whole interface is pretty much fluidic. Uh, there are no force processors as of now. The music hub. Which you need to sign up with the end of something account. This is a CWM mod. You need to tap on the grant option. So thanks. Okay. So but pretty much same options. Let's check out the wallpapers this has got with home screen top the jelly bean walls. So these are the jelly bean wallpapers which are there. There's a weather app. There's a video hub. So pretty much the same options and on the top we have got some additional options but to unlock there's a lock button Wi-Fi data Bluetooth and also a whole lot of applications or a whole lot of options which are there in it there's a music player which is of default one the playbooks the video player you have got apart from the play movies which got paper artist as well so that's it this comes with good amount of applications so that's it guys you have learned on how to update with Turkey ROM in your Samsung Galaxy 3 smartphone. Stay connected for more and do subscribe to our channel that's Advices Media. Thank you.